Hey everybody, today we're gonna to be looking at how to add and subtract integers on a number line like this. And it's a third part, this particular lesson is a third part of what'll probably end up being a four part series on adding and subtracting integers. And it's important that you watch the other two lessons prior to this one in order to fully understand this particular one. And what I'm going to start with is a brief review, it's gonna be very quick, of the last two lessons. So if it doesn't make sense, you may wanna go back and learn them at a slower pace by watching them. So, to understand this lesson here, guys, you have to know two things. You have to be very comfortable with these next two things I'm about to show you. The first thing that you gotta understand how to do is how to read equations using the hot and cold analogy. I'm gonna be talking nothing but hot and cold analogies, and I'm gonna relate them to thermometers. So that this thermometer is like a number line, sort of like this one. We're gonna be reading equations first in order to translate them in this hot and cold analogy. And the second thing that you've gotta do is use this information to decide if we need to move left or right on the number line or the thermometer. If you can understand these two things, this lesson is a cinch. So let's start with this one here. This is gonna be part of my review. If you remember in the last two lessons, we had this scenario here where we had a soup chef and his job was to make soup. And he had these, I mean, he would heat his soup up and cool it off with these hot and cold cubes. So we're gonna be coming back to this and using it to understand this number line business. So he had four options. He can either add hot cubes like this or he can subtract the hot cubes like that. He can, on the other hand, add cold cubes like this, or he can subtract the cold cubes like that. And each of these scenarios produced a different effect on the temperature. So if he added the hot cubes, let's take a look at this one first. If you add the hot cubes, what that'll do to the temperature is it'll make it hotter. But if that hot cube is subtracted like this, if you subtract it out, that soup cannot lo can no longer get hotter, it starts getting colder. because that hotness is gone. So you subtract hot, it becomes colder. Now, adding cold cubes, that's like adding ice cubes. Cold cubes are like ice cubes. So you add an ice cube, and what that'll do to the soup is make it colder. It'll cool it off. But you know what happens if you remove ice from a drink, you know, your soda at McDonald's, you take that ice out, that drink, doesn't get colder anymore, it does the opposite, it starts warming up again. So we're gonna integrate these things. Guys, you've gotta be very comfortable reading these equations and applying this concept to them. So where's these equations? We gotta learn how to read them. We looked at the hot and cold analogy, but now how do we read these equations? So here's a couple numbers. I've got a positive two, I've got a negative three. If you remember, positive numbers were red and negative numbers were blue. And we can either add them or we could subtract them like that. Now let me review how to read these equations. Forget this number, this is just your starting number. We're not gonna focus too much on this one here. All we care about is this one and that one. This one says what? It says subtract. Subtracting what, hot or cold? Subtracting cold. But if I do this, it says adding cold. So this says adding cold like this. What does that do to the temperature if you add cold? Makes it colder, but if you subtract cold, makes it hotter. Let me flip this around. So I'm not so interested in this anymore. I'm just looking at these two symbols here. This says add and this says hot. If I add hot cubes, soup gets hotter. If I remove, subtract the hot cubes, it gets colder. That's your little brief review there. Let's move on to the second thing. So for the next part, we need to see how to move left or right on the number line. To do that, we gotta know how a number line is built. A number line is like a thermometer. A thermometer has the number zero. And then on top of the zero, you have all the positive numbers. And on the bottom of the zero, you got the negative ones. The zero is like a separator. It separates the two sides. If I tilted it this way, however, it turns into a horizontal number line. It's the same idea. You put zero, then on one side the positives. We put an arrow to say that the number line doesn't stop there. It keeps going forever. And then on the left side, we put all the negative numbers and an arrow indicating that the number line continues forever in that direction. Now, how does a thermometer work? Well, when the temperature is really hot outside, it gets really warm. 
and the warm numbers are going to be the positive temperatures. So think of these as temperatures like on a thermometer. But as you start moving to the left, it doesn't get warmer, it starts cooling off. So you get to the left, you go to the left, he starts cooling down until you go all the way to the left, and this starts getting really chilly. So this is like the really cold area here. So we're either getting hotter or we're moving in the colder direction. So if we move right, we're getting hotter. If we're moving to the left, we are getting colder. So we said we got to be able to decide if we got to move left or right on the number line. Well, we just looked at our four options of either adding hot. If we add hot cubes, that soup gets hotter. It moves to the right because hotter, you're going this way. If you subtract a hot cube out, you go to the left, you get colder. If you add cold cubes, you add cold like, like this, then the soup gets colder. You start moving in this direction. But if you subtract the cold out, you take the ice out of your drink, then you don't get colder anymore. You start getting hotter. You move in that direction. And that's what I mean by deciding to move left or right on the number line, is being able to figure out if you're adding hot, subtracting hot, adding cold, or subtracting cold, what the effect of that is going to be. Now look really carefully on this. You can make the soup hotter not using one strategy, but using two strategies. If you add hot, it'll get hotter. But there's another way of making the soup get hotter, and that's by subtracting cold. That'll also make it move towards the right. Likewise, there's two methods of making things colder. You can either add cold, add ice like this. Just add, add ice to your drink. That'll make it colder. But you can also make it colder by subtracting hot cubes if they're in the drink. By going like this, you've made it colder as well. So now, let's take these two bits of information and start to do some questions. We looked at this one here, and we've looked at this concept here, and now we're, I think we're ready to start some problems. Okay guys, so here's the first question. The first number, remember, stands for your starting point. And we're gonna introduce a special guest here. Do you like cats or dogs? What do you like, cats or dogs, puppies? Maybe puppies, okay, here's a puppy. Puppy always starts on zero when we're talking about the thermometer number line. Now the first number in our equation talks about where the puppy needs to walk to. So he has to go to negative six. That part is simple. But now we gotta look at these two symbols here and together they say add hot. And if you take an add hot cubes, do we move right, get hotter, or does the temperature get colder? It gets hotter. Okay, so how much hotter does it get? It gets 10 hotter. So he starts walking towards the hotter direction. Hotter means he's going to the right. So he's going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And you get the answer is positive 4. That's it. Now take a look at question 2. Question 2. The starting, now the puppy has to reset, remember that. Reset the puppy. Now we can read the question. Start on negative six again. Okay, so puppy jumps to negative six. Now the next part says that we need to subtract. But subtract what? Subtract cold. What happens if you subtract, okay, here's some ice cubes. They're floating around your soup. You subtract them out. Do you move right? Do you get hotter if you subtract the ice cubes or do you get colder if you subtract ice cubes? You don't get colder because the ice cubes are being subtracted. They're gone. It gets The drink gets hotter. The soup gets hotter. So the puppy, again, is going to move in the right direction 10 spots. We know that's 6. From here to here is 6. 7, 8, 9, 10. Our answer, once again, is positive 4. Take a look at this one. Now, sometimes you're going to get weird equations like this where it doesn't appear to have a positive or a negative number. It's just 5 minus 8. Here's what you do. Look at the number. To the left of it is the symbol. If there's no symbol, you assume it's a positive. So look to the left. There is no symbol. So there's no symbol. It's a positive 5. So you know what we do? Reset the puppy. 
Now, puppy looks at this one here. He says, okay, that's my starting number. It's got to be positive 5. Then it says subtract, but I've got two kinds of subtraction. I've got subtract hot or I've got subtract cold. Again, look to the left of the number. Here's the number to the left of it. It's not this one. That means subtract. That's the subtract symbol, so ignore it. To the left of it, there is nothing there. If there's nothing there, it's a positive number, so he has to subtract hot. Positive numbers are hot. So now we can go, okay, subtract hot. Here's some hot cubes. Okay, hot cubes are there. Now subtract them out. Subtract hot cubes, you get colder. We've got to make the puppy go this direction. Eight spots. From here to here is five. This is a shortcut. Five. Six, seven, eight. He goes all the way to here. The answer is going to be negative three. Five minus eight is negative three. Let's do a few more of these questions to really get the hang of this stuff. Here we have a positive seven. Okay, reset the puppy first. Let's get rid of this one here. Reset the puppy. Okay, puppy sees the starting value is positive seven, so he goes rup, 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 all the way to positive seven. Then we look at these two symbols and it says add, but add what? Add cold cubes. When you add cold cubes, you get colder. So puppy has to go to the left again. Eight spots. From here to here is seven. One more spot makes eight. The answer to that is going to be negative one. Take a look at this question here. Puppy resets again. He goes to the seven positive, but now he is subtracting, but subtracting what? Subtracting hot cubes. Positives are hot cubes. When you subtract hot cubes, here's some hot cubes that are floating around, you subtract them out, nothing is there to heat it up. It gets colder. He's going to go left again, eight spots. He ends up at the same number. It's negative one. Remember we said there's two ways of making something get colder? Either you can add ice cubes or subtract hot cubes. They both make things go colder, so you get the same answer. These are essentially the same equation. Now let's look at the weird one here. Let's take a look at the weird one. Again, one of them has a symbol. This is negative three, so reset puppy. Put them on negative three. That's not a big problem. But now what are we adding? We have to decide what we're adding. We are adding, cover that up, 15. But what's the symbol beside it? There's nothing there. So it's a positive. Adding positive means adding. Positive means hot cubes. Adding hot cubes. You add hot cubes, thing gets hotter. Puppy goes this way 15 times. So here to here is three numbers. So rough, 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 three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. You get positive twelve. You see everybody, you don't have to memorize any silly tricks, things that you'll just forget. Doesn't make sense to memorize things that make no sense. Memorize stuff or don't even memorize it. Just understand this here based on this analogy and I promise you will remember it forever. And the best part is it's completely logical. It's stuff that we're comfortable understanding. So you know, I've decided to make um, five parts. I'm gonna make an advanced part. I'm gonna make a super advanced part. I hope you guys had as much fun learning this stuff as I had teaching it to you. And if you found this lesson helpful, please click the like button, share it with your friends, and get the word out so people can benefit from this. Till then, I can't wait to see you in the next lesson. Catch you later, guys. Have a good day. Bye-bye.